Frag Studios, Remedy 916 NOS. This is my review on Deus Ex Human Revolution. It's a first person shooter RPG and set in a cyberpunk setting. You play that dude, Adam Jensen. He's an ex SWAT specialist and he's turned into a biosecurity dude. But right now he looks like a punk. Anyways, after this event right here, he gets forced to have biomechanical augments put into him and then the story begins the storyline is entertaining very fun to follow and that's just something that comes along with square enix games so the graphics in this game you just saw cgi and obviously that looks really good um another thing that square does really well um as far as the end game graphics um it looks really good when I was going around Detroit, it, it just looks really grimy. It really reminds me a lot of Blade Runner. Um, I just like the way it looks. It's fairly detailed. It looks really good. Now onto the controls. At the very beginning of the game, it's kind of awkward for me to play. Um, probably because I'm used to playing Call of Duty and Halo. For shooters anyways. Um, but after playing for a few hours, I got used to it. And that third person cover system doesn't want to cooperate sometimes. A lot of the pre-release videos um, have you believe that you can uh, pretty much do anything in the game uh, your way. And for the most part you can. But it really feels like this game was meant to be played in stealth. Just for the fact that when you're on easy and when you're on hard, there's not much of a difference. Um, you get shot a couple times and you're dead. In either difficulty. So, I don't know, it, it just feels like you have to sneak around. Alright, so as far as my rating goes, I'm not going to do stars, I'm not going to do 1 through 10 or anything like that. It's just simply going to be buy this game, rent this game, or just try to avoid it altogether. And just because this game is called Deuce X, doesn't mean it belongs in the crapper. This is actually a pretty good game. I think the reviews that everybody's giving it online are a little overrated, but it is still a really great game. And if you do decide to buy it, it is a game that will hold value just because it's a Squaresoft game. Uh, those games that are collector games, a couple years from now, you'll probably sell it, get close to what you paid for it. That said, I'm going to go ahead and give you uh, just a little walkthrough of some of the game and actually show you one of the easy but very missable achievements. Check it out. Alright, first up we got hacking. This is one of my favorite parts of the game. Really reminds me of uh, Shadowrun for Sega Genesis. The hacking in that was pretty cool. And there is a lot of loot in this game, so you're going to want to look everywhere you can. Alright, you're going to access your terminal. And you're always going to want to hack because it gets you experience points. If you enter a password, you're not going to get AXP. Alright, here's a grid you're working with. That's your starting point. That's where you want to go to get out. Those hexagon guys, they unlock items, uh, software programs. And those wheels uh, do different kinds of things, actually. Some are spam, some uh, lower the clearance. Let's get started. You want to fortify it, make it stronger so they can't uh, break it. And then you just go from node to node trying to get to that you want to reach those hexagons too to get the items that lowers the clearance all right right now with that red flashing they're gonna try to trace the call you'll find uh, software programs throughout the game they're gonna allow you to do things I'm gonna use the stop right now stop that timer so that it stops our trace it'll continue in about five seconds or so Right now, I'm just capturing all the nodes. Alright, you gotta reach their orb before they reach your orb. And that will shut them down. You hack it. They get to yours first. They trace the call. You get booted out. 
So I got in, I got a nuke and a stop. Now I have the option to deactivate the security cameras. And that's hacking in a nutshell. Alright, this is your augmentation screen. Basically your skills in the game. And you earn XP and that will get you Praxis points. And Praxis points are basically skill points. I recommend uh, upgrading your hacking skills of all sources because hacking gets you more XP. You find Praxis kits in the game. Basically that's a bonus skill point. And some of them you find by using another skill. So you want to always have an extra skill to add. Now it's achievement time. This is the very beginning of the game. You gotta collect six items in this room. The first one is an ebook. Alright, you wanna make sure that you go through all three pages. Also, there's an achievement to collect 29 ebooks in the game, but there's more than 29 in the game. You'll know you have won the 29 because it'll say Scholar plus EXP on the left hand side of the screen when you open the book. Next item is this toy car. All right, now you want to grab this book. It's the first edition. David bought it for me. Now you want to go over here and look at this computer, not the photo. Do the computer first. I've had no problems in the past. All right, so you want to check each email, scroll down through them, then go to the next one, sit there for a minute, and go to the next one, sit there for a minute, and go to the next one, then scroll all the way down that one. All right, now you want to check out this photo. Wow, how long ago was this taken? In grad school. Before I met you. Back when you were hobnobbing with the rich and famous. That chick looks like she hobnobs. I wonder if Mr. Darrow remembers you. God, I hope not. I'm getting all warm and fuzzy inside. Check this newspaper. Bam. Old school gamer. Cheap and unlocked. Really easy to get. Alright, this is a combat and stealth portion. These are a couple guys that were up to no good. Started making trouble in the neighborhood. If you'll notice, uh, you crouch a lot in this game. Uh, that's just a stealth. If you're not crouched, they hear you walking. There are augments that will allow you to be silent when you walk, run. And when you jump. So if you're playing a stealth playthrough, you're uh, basically going to creep up on everybody and uh, knock them out. There's an achievement for not killing anybody in the game. Bosses don't count as a kill though. And then you can uh, loot the body. And you can drag the body. You want to hide him so other guys don't see him. And your girlfriend's pimp is online. How about that? Alright, in the bottom left hand corner there is a mini map. It can go alarmed, and it can go hostile. There's an achievement to not have it go hostile the entire campaign. Very hard. You get that, props to you. Bam! Harlem Shake, baby. And that's it. My Deus Ex Human Revolution review. I highly recommend buying this game. If you can't afford it, go out and rent it. I'm really curious about the game Catherine, so I'm going to try that out and review it uh, in a few days. As well as Dead Island, I'll have a review for that next week. All my reviews are hands-on, no bogus videos. You can email us at fragstudiostv at gmail.com. I really want your feedback, so like, comment, subscribe, you know, let me know what you think. 
Remedy 916 NOS. Deuce. X.